joining me now is Javed Rana. He's a journalist. He joins us live from Islamabad, Pakistan, to talk to us further about the call by Pakistan for the world to engage with the Afghanistan government. Uh, the international community must learn uh, at least from their own mistakes they made in Afghanistan. As Prime Minister Imran Khan said uh, just a few weeks ago that the U.S. messed up Afghanistan. Now uh, there was an there was a American policy and the NATO's policy to disengage Taliban for the last 20 years. The net result was the Americans lost 2.5 trillion dollars. They lost uh, NATO lost 3500 U.S. Uh, 3500 uh, of its troops. And apart from that, I think there, there were more than 200,000 Afghans who lost their lives in, in this useless battle. And the net result was that uh, after 20 years long battle, they ended up negotiating with the same force, the Taliban. They had evicted by use of excessive force 20 years ago. So this, I think my understanding of the situation is that the probably uh, West is will taking some time. It needs some sort of face saving uh, to engage with the Taliban. The fact that the many Western countries are not giving donations, uh, providing financial assistance to the Taliban government, that indicates that the, now the world wants to engage with the Taliban. But there's a lot of uh, hue and cry about the human rights issues in, in Afghanistan. I think that is more because of the media hype and that is more because of the kind of the sentiments that exist in the West, because West think that the, the Taliban have not been honoring their commitment on women's rights. I think there is a difference of the uh, perspective and there is a Maybe it is a clash of civilization. There is one perspective on how to protect women's rights, and there is another Western perspective on how to protect that women's rights. I think that that clash would exist for times to come. The West would more look into its geostrategic and economic interests. That is going to determine its relation with the Taliban government. Okay. Now, the United Nations has also expressed concern by saying that it's a fantasy if people believe the United Nations, without the trillions of dollars and soldiers, will be able to fix the problems within the country. So it seems that the only possible solution is through dialogue and negotiations with the Taliban. Would you agree with that? I think very rightly he has pointed this out. And the, uh, the U.S. led NATO spend $2.5 trillion in, in, in Afghanistan. And they had 150,000 soldiers and more than 100,000 uh, in, uh, intelligence contractors. The net result was a, 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 a kind of a humiliating defeat at the battlefield. And the U.S. has lost its prestige. No longer the U.S. is believed to be a superpower now. It is one of the three great powers, along with China and Russia. The, no longer the U.S. has that kind of its influence on the global stage as it used to have 20, 20 years ago. So I think he has very rightly pointed out. And I think these, now the situation as we speak exists in a, way, in a manner that where we feel that West is reluctant but certainly, as I explained earlier on, is likely to engage with the Taliban. They will take time to, uh, to recognize the Taliban government because I think in, in months and weeks to come, probably China and Russia and Pakistan and perhaps also Turkey, they are going to diplomatically recognize the Taliban government. This means that uh, the, uh, China would have more influence, Russia would have more influence in Afghanistan, something Americans would not like to see happening. So therefore, they would like to engage Taliban. And for that to happen, I think they will have to uh, give a diplomatic recognition. And sooner or later, you will see that happening. growing tide of anti-Israel sentiments. What you see behind me is just tip of the iceberg of what is happening in the country. More than half of $52 billion black CIA budget is spent on espionage network in Pakistan. How would you handle it? The US uh, has looked upon Pakistan as an ally at one point and then uh, as an enemy at the same time. That is going to be the first legalism on the basis of which he is going to be instantly ousted by the Supreme Court of Pakistan. 
Joining us live, uh, Javed Rana, who's an expert on politics and geostrategic issues. In the world politics, which is not being driven by any moral principle, it is being driven by the hard geostrategic realities. In a broader picture, more countries would aspire to have nuclear weapons.